Welcome to game 19 of the Tom Seaver replay uh, for 1973. Today, the New York Mets will be going to play the Cincinnati Reds at uh, Riverfront Stadium. And I have the 1973 Tom Seaver replay statistics displayed here through 18 games. And I'll let you take a quick look at those. As you can see, everything is pretty much close. He had a, um, a great outing in game 18 versus the Houston Astros. So hopefully he can continue that momentum against the tough Cincinnati Reds. Um, and as you can see, um, this is a rematch of the 1973 NL Championship Series um, from 1973. And uh, the actual score which we show here was 2-1 uh, Cincinnati at this game that was played on July 13th of 1973. So let's move ahead and uh, start the game play. Leading off for the New York Mets will be Wayne, lefty Wayne Garrett, who had a big game last game against the uh, Astros. We got a 4-9 four, four versus a lefty, Jack Billingham, starting for the Cincinnati Reds. And that's a single one to 10. It's a seven, so that's a single for Garrett. Take a quick look at uh, Billingham's card. He was 19 and 10 in 1973 with a 3.04 ERA. So Garrett leads off with a single. Felix Mian will be the batter. Nothing on the Havoc. 310 versus a righty walk. So Billingham gets the first two runners. On. Okay, so. Now we have Cleon Jones, first and second, no outs, nothing on the Havoc. We got a 5-4 versus a righty. That's a possible um, single chance. We're in Cincinnati. For a right-handed batter, it is just a 1. As you can take a look at that, it's just a 1 for uh, Cincinnati for a single. So, 10. So, Jones lines out to the shortstop. The next batter will be Rusty Staub. Nothing on the Havoc. So the lefty Staub will be up against Gillingham. 3-5 versus a righty. That's a ground ball pitcher B. So with runners on first and second. Um, fielder's choice batter, safe runner on first base out. So get the fielder's choice. Mian out at second. Garrett goes to third. We've got two outs for Johnny Milner. Nothing on the Havoc. we got a 3-7 versus a righty. That's a single one to five. So this is a key one right here with runners on first and third. Four. So Milner gets the key single to bring in Garrett. Staub advances to second. Got two outs. Crane pool. Nothing on the havoc there. 512 versus a lefty ground ball pitcher X. Billingham is a 2E10. So he gets there. We got a 3 on an E10. That is a 2 base error. 2 base error there. Wow. Okay. So we got. Must have thrown it away, trying to get the runner on at first. So we got an E1. Staub scores. Milner goes to third. A key error by Billingham. Brings it to two to nothing. Runners on first and third. Two outs for Hodges. Four six versus a lefty. Fly out to center. So. He's out of the inning. Two runs for the Mets. 
good way to start here against the tough Cincinnati Reds. So Billingham's error, throwing it away to the first baseman Perez, who can't get to it, leads to another run. A single by Milner brings in Garrett. So we will start the uh, Reds off here with uh, switch hitting pitcher, switch hitter batter uh, Pete Rose. The hit king. 1 6 versus the righty single for Rose. Joe Morgan. Nothing on the havoc. 2 7. Walks. The Reds off to a good start here. Dan Dreesing. 5 9 versus a lefty. Struck him out. Seaver with a key strike out there. We got the catcher, Johnny Bench. 15. Nothing on that. 312 versus the righty. Ground ball shortstop A. That's a double play. Plus injury, but we're not using that because we're doing an as played. But a key double play. Burleson to Mion. Over to Milner. Key double play. Get out of that inning. Morgan and Rose got on base, but uh, Red's going to do anything with it. We will move to the top of the second. With Harrelson, Seaver, and the top of the order, Wayne Garrett. One seven versus a righty. Single to left for Harrelson. Nothing on the havoc. 5-5 five, five versus a righty. Look at that. 1-6, to six, he's weak. Single, 7-20, to 20, double. 6, that's a single. For Seaver. So it's a single, two stars. Harrelson will go to third. First and third, no outs for Wayne Garrett. The infield will be normal. Eight to try to get that double play. Four seven versus a lefty walk. Billingham in deep water here. Nothing on the havoc. Neon is up, but base is loaded. We're still gonna play normal to try to get that double play. Two ten, that works. Ground ball, third base A, so they do get the double play to run scores. Okay. So we got a runner on third, two outs for Cleon Jones. We got a 111. Uh oh. There we go. Got a diamond chance for Cleon Jones. So let's look at it what it is in Cincinnati. So in Cincinnati, Jones is a righty. One to two will be a home run, otherwise, a fly out to left. Let's get that roll in. Ten. So he flies out to left. Okay, so the Mets jump out to a 3-0 lead. Perez, Tolan, and Stahl will be the batters for Cincinnati. 4-10 versus a righty. That's a ground out to second base. Bobby Tolan. We are using him in the 1968 Bob Gibson replay when he played for the 
St. Louis Cardinals, 5-7 versus a lefty, struck him out. Stall, 6-4 versus a lefty. Fly ball center field X. It is the play is to Cleon Jones. He's a 4-E-11. He gets there. Um, 8 on an 11. He makes the play. So, Seaver holds his 3 nothing lead against the Reds. We will move to the top of the third with the Mets having Staub, Milner, and Cranepool at the middle lineup. Birmingham having a tough go at it so far. 4-7 versus a lefty walk. Milner. Four nine versus a lefty. Single one to ten. That's a nineteen, so we got a fielder's choice. Stab out at second. Milner safe at first. Ed Crane pulled the batter with a runner on first. Five seven versus a lefty. Ground ball second base A. That's a double play. Four six to three. Morgan to Cheney over to Perez at first. So three nothing game here. Seaver will be facing Cheney, Billingham. And the top of the order, Pete Rose. Two nine. First a righty, struck him out. Billingham. Five four. He's bats righty. So ground ball third base X. The play is over to Garrett. He's a four E thirty. Gets there. Fifteen on a thirty. That's a one base error. Garrett boots the ball. It's not what you want to have to happen when Rose and Morgan come to the plate. We have a three nothing game. Bottom of the third, top of the order, Pete Rose, nothing there, 6-8 versus a lefty, because Rose is a switch hitter, fly out to center field, Joe Morgan, nothing on the Havoc. 6-8 versus a lefty, another fly out to center field, so Seaver gets out of it cleanly. We are through three, and it's 3 nothing Mets. Mets will have Hodges, Perelson, and Seaver. Two five versus a righty. That's a clean single right up the middle. But Harrelson four six. He's a switchy so switch hitter. So about lefty. That's a fly out the center. Tom Seavers the batter. Four seven versus a righty. That's a walk. Receivers got on both times this inning, this game. Now we got the top of the order. Wayne Garrett with two outs, runners on first and second. Nothing on the havoc. 
one eight versus a righty. That's a ground ball, second base A. That's a double play. Morgan to Cheney over to Perez. Key out. Still, Mets holding a three nothing lead. Bottom of the fourth. Dreesen, Bench, and Perez for the Reds. Up against Seaver. Four seven versus a lefty. That's a single one to five. That's a one, so that's a single for Dreesen. Johnny Bench is the batter. Eight. Five nine versus a righty. Struck him out. Key strikeout for Seaver. Tony Perez. Seven, nothing on the Havoc. 5-5 five, five versus a righty. Struck him out. Bobby Tolan. 6-9 versus a lefty. Drown ball second base shortstop X. That's to Harrison. It's a 1-1. He gets there. Dreesen was not held. On first, he's not, well, he is an asterisk, and that's the rule we're using. If, uh, if there's an asterisk on first, he's being held. So, okay, since Dreesen was being held, and it was a G3 pound on a 1-1, one, one, fielder responsible for holding a runner. Tolan was a left-handed hitter, so first base with left hander, first base and shortstop. So that pound... Convert all pounds to a single two. So Tolan, because the range was limited for holding the runner, Tolan gets a single. Dreesen goes to third. Two outs. Larry Stahl. Nothing on the Havoc. We got a 3 6 versus a righty. Fly out the center. So Stahl can't take advantage of anything there. We move on to the fifth. So that's a key thing when you have a. Uh, and I only hold my rule, my solitary rule is to hold a runner if he's got an asterisk. Otherwise, he's not being held. So Felix Mian. If anybody has any other thoughts on it, feel free to put them in the comments. Um, thank you. So Mian is the next batter. 2-8 versus a righty, ground out to third. Cleon Jones. 5-4 versus a righty. That's a ballpark single chance. That's a 14. Now with a righty, it's only a single one, so he doesn't get a single. He lines out to short. And now Rusty Stav. 16. 4-4 four, four versus a lefty. Catcher X, that's bench. He's a 1-1. 4-1 one, one. One, WS. Oh, excuse me. WG. So WG with no runners on base. If runners on, automatic wild pitch. If not on, ground out to the catcher. So a little grounder in front of the plate. Bench makes the play, throws it over to Perez, and stop is out. So we got a 3 nothing game. We are in the bottom of the fifth. Cheney, Billingham. And Rose will be the batters for Cincinnati. So. Mets up 3 nothing. 6 3 switch hitter, so he's batting lefty. Fly ball left field X. 
the left fielder's crane crew. He's a 4E6. So a 6 on a 4. That's a single. Crane pool can't get to it. And his error is a 6. So crane pool can't get to it. It's a clean single for Cheney. Dillingham is the batter. I'm going to have him bunt. His bunting is an A. Corners will be in. It's a 6. We got a defense. We'll check that. Couldn't get a clear, clear interpretation of the rules, so we're going to say it's a sacrifice. With the defense, I think they have the choice to throw out the runner, which would be Dillingham, but we're going to let uh, Cheney go to second. Runner on second. Rose is the batter. Two four versus a righty. Ooh, look at that home run. One to fourteen. Gone. Pete Rose. Two run homer to bring it to three to two. He sprints around the bases. Wow. Let's see what kind of home runs. I always get curious from what he had. He had. Five home runs in 1973, but that was right off the batter's card. So Rose with a two-run homer to bring the score to three to two. He tightens it right up. It's a new game now. Morgan 111 versus a righty foul out to first. Two outs. Dan Dreesen. Nothing. No, no need for havoc. 111. That's a ballpark single chance. Six for a lefty at Riverfront. It is a one to seven. So Dreesen gets a single. That'll bring up Johnny Bench with a runner on first. Two outs, three to two Mets. Let's check the havoc. Nothing there. One seven versus a righty. That's a single one to six. Eight, so nothing there. He lines out to the shortstop. So the Reds with two runs here in the bottom of the fifth to make it three to two. We got a game here now. Billingham, some renewed energy. Top of the six, he'll be facing Milner, Cranepool, and Hodges. Now, Milner's last up bats, he fielded his choice in a single. Two eleven versus a righty. Look at that, there's a diamond chance. But again, we know Riverfront's pretty tough on all batters. So one to two is a home run, otherwise it's a fly out. Five, Milner flies out deep to right. Ed Crane Pool. Five seven versus a lefty. It's a ground out to second. Billingham's recovered from the first two tough first two tough innings in the first and second. Six nine versus a lefty. Fly out to right. Mets still have the lead here. They're up three to two. Reds inch closer on a Pete Rose two-run homer. Seaver will be facing Perez, Tolan, and Stahl here at the bottom of the six. Three-five versus a righty. That's a home run. One to four, double five to twenty. Twelve. That's a double. These reds are dangerous. Oops. Let's get the pen in order here. All the excitement at Riverfront. It's double for Perez. Tolan's the batter. Three to two. Nothing on the havoc. Five eight versus a lefty. Ground ball, second base axe. The runner should be advancing, but let's see if Meon can make the play. 
four on a two. Okay, makes to gets there. Seventeen on a ten. That's a one base error. Neon boots the ball. Wow, we got runners on first and third, no outs. Bottom of the order coming up. Larry Stahl. Three, nothing there. Four, seven versus a lefty. Single one to five, line out. Six to 20. Four, that's a single. Ties the game. Runners on first and second. No outs for Cheney. Mets could use a double play here. 6 8 versus a lefty. Fly out to center field. Now let's take a look. The, Met, the Reds might bring in a pinch hitter here. Okay, with the game tied 3 to 3. Ken Griffey will be coming in to pinch hit for Billingham. Nothing on the Havoc. 6-6 six, six versus a lefty. Struck him out. Seaver. Key strikeout. Now we got Rose. Key at bat here. First and second. Two outs. Let's check the Havoc roll first. Nothing there. Let's see if Rose can bring in these runs. Two outs, tie game. Bottom of the six. Six five versus a lefty. Struck him out, Seaver. Rose hit that key two run homer, but we get a tie game now. Three to Three, top of the seventh. The Reds need a. Billingham went six. They will bring in Clay Carroll. To relieve Billingham, who finished up well. Harrelson. The pitcher's position, and let's see, up against Carroll. Okay, let's see what Harrelson does first. Seventh, four eleven versus a lefty. That's a single chance ballpark. Lefty's not nothing good. Twenty nothing there. He lines out to second. Let's take a look at the pinch hitters for the Mets. Okay, so the. Jim Bocamp will be pinch hitting for Tom Seaver. Seaver went six with eight hits, one home run, three earned runs, one walk, and seven strikeouts today. A tie game here. Four eight versus a righty. That's a walk. So Bocamp does his job. Wayne Garrett's the batter. Nothing on the Havoc. 2-7. Potential double, 1-3. to three. 12. He flies out to center. Felix Mian, who had that key error, In the last half of the inning. See if he can redeem himself here. 2 8, ground out to third. Nothing for the Mets. Morgan, Joe Morgan leads off for the Reds here in the bottom of the seventh. Harry Parker will be the pitcher. Against Morgan, 
Dreesen and Bench. 6-5 versus a lefty. Ground ball shortstop X. That play is to Harrelson. He gets there. 6 on a 16. Makes the play. Dan Dreesen. Two four versus a righty. It's a single chance for a lefty. Sixteen. Now well, he lines out to second. Riverfront is not good on the single or the home run chances. Johnny Bench. Six nine versus a righty. Fly out to center. So Harry Parker does his job. We move on to the top of the eighth. Clay Carroll will stay in the game. He'll face Cleon Jones, Rusty Staub, and Johnny Milner. 411 versus a lefty. That's a ballpark single chance. Eight. I mean, no. Well, Cleon Jones is a righty. Excuse me. Cleon Jones is a righty. So 4 11. That's still a ballpark single chance. It was an 8 for a righty. In Cincinnati, it's only a 1. It's good. So he lines out to shortstop Cheney. Staub. One nine versus a righty. Ground out to short. And John Milner. Let's see if he could do anything here. Four eight versus a lefty. He grounds out to second. So nothing for the Mets here. We still have a three to three game. Reds will have Perez, Tolan, and Stahl. Harry Parker will stay in the game. Let's see what we can do here. Perez. 6-6 six, six versus a righty. Line out to first. Bobby Tolan. 4 6 versus a lefty. Fly out to right. And Larry Stahl. 5 8 versus a lefty. Single 1 to 19. 17. So single for Stahl. Let's check the Havoc first. Nothing on the Havoc. Cheney will, will still bat here. Two six versus a righty, fly out the left. So nothing for the Reds. Go to the top of the ninth. Carroll won a nice two. We're gonna keep him in there long relief. He had some starts in him, so he's got an arm to go longer. So keep him in there. Pitch, pitching very well. Crane Pool, Hodges, and Harrelson. 6 9 versus a lefty. Fly out to left. Hodges. 5 8 versus a lefty. That's a double. Pedro Borbone warming up in the bullpen. One, oh, possible wild pitch, one to four, 16, so no wild pitch. One, five versus a righty, that's a walk. All right, so we're going to bring in a pinch hitter and a pitcher. Okay, so the Mets are going to bring in Jim Fogosi. The Reds are going to bring in 
Roger Nelson, hopefully, to get these last two outs. And we have the pitcher spot coming up at the bottom half of the inning. So it must be the double switch, but we'll, we'll stick with it. Nothing for Fergosi. 4 7 versus a righty. It's a fly out to center. Wayne Garrett, let's see if he can do something here. Nothing on the Havoc. 5 8 versus a lefty. Single to left field. We're going to definitely try to score Hodges, even though he's slow. So we got a single by Garrett. The single was to left field. Left fielder's arm is Rose is a minus one. Hodges, I'm sure, is not that fast, but there's two outs. So let's check Hodges' running rating. It's a one to 11. Two outs. So we got a minus one, so brings it to a one to ten with Rose's arm. Two outs, so it's a one to twelve. Hodges is going to go for it. So it's a one to twelve chance that Hodges scores at home on the Garrett single, and the Mets are going to go for third base coach sends him. Twenty, he's out. So, what a great throw by Rose gets Hodges out at the plate. That's three outs. Hit nothing. Tug McGraw is going to come in for the Mets. Parker pitched two. We are at the bottom of the ninth. The pitcher spot is up for the Reds. McGraw's coming in. The Reds will see who they'll bring up. We'll have Concepcion pinch hit in the pitcher spot. So we're in the bottom of the ninth. McGraw's the pitcher. Three to three game. Concepcion, Rose, and Morgan. Some familiar names. Let's see if they can do anything against Tug McGraw. One six. He's a lefty. Oh, look at that. Concepcion, Homer 1 to 3, double 4 to 20. This could end quick. 17, double for Concepcion. Off McGraw. Wow. What a start here in the bottom of the ninth. We got Pete Rose up who homered today. The Reds. Tough situation for McGraw. Nothing on the havoc. Let's see if Rose can bring in Concepcion. 2 9. Walks. Oh no, a lefty. Look at that. Look at the difference. Walk versus righty, lefty, ground ball, pitcher B. McGraw snags to play. Concepcion holds. That's key right there. Eh, not that it would have made a difference because all they need is one run anyways. So 16. Let's see if Morgan can do anything here. 111 versus a lefty. Single 1 to 12. That'll be a one star single 1 to 12. Single. Concepcion. 
Concepcion goes to third. One out for Dan Dreesen. Lefty on lefty. Let's check the Havoc goal first. Nothing there. 6-5, lefty on lefty. Ground ball shortstop X. We have the infield in, obviously, for first and third. Let's see if Harrelson can make the play. His range gets there. Six on a 16. Let's check an error. No error. Nine on a five. Nine, excuse me. Nine on a one. There's a G1 with infield in. Runners on first and third. The batter. Okay, so runners advance only a force. Okay, so Morgan goes to second. Harrelson makes the play. Second and third. Two outs. Bench against Tug McGraw. Let's see what we can get here. Nothing on the Haddock. Let's see if Bench can end this game here. 3-2 versus a lefty. Single. But that's clutch. Let's check the ruling on that. Let me grab it. Wow, here's where super advanced rules come into play. We had a 3-2 bench against a lefty. Would have been a single to center, but we have the clutch symbol here. And what that means is with the, if the original reading is a single, make it a pop-out instead for a clutch. If he's clutch hitting. So bench pops out in a key clutch situation. We move on to the 10th. They owe a picture. Or Bone's going to come in. McGraw gets out of the jam. So let's get Four Bone's card. He is coming in. For Roger Nelson. The Mets will have Neon, Staub, and Milner in the 10th. 5 11 versus a righty. Fly out to right. Theon Jones. 2 2 versus a righty. That's a single to left. Rusty stop. Nothing on the havoc. Six five versus a lefty. Fly out the left. And John Milner. Five five versus a lefty. Single two stars. Mets keep it alive here. Crane pool. First and third, two outs. Twelve, nothing on the habit. Let's see if Crane pool can get a run here. Two six versus a righty, ground out to second. Tuck McGraw will stay in the game. The Mets. He will be facing Perez, Tolan, and Stahl. Four four versus a righty. Ground ball third base X. That is Garrett. He's a four E thirty. Seventeen he gets there. Fourteen on an E thirty. That's a two base error. 
Okay, so he's an E30. It's a two base error for Wayne Garrett. He throws it into the stands. Jesus. We got a three to three game, bottom of the tenth. Garrett throws one into the stands. Perez is standing at second. Bobby Tolan's the batter. Let's check the habit roll. Nothing there. 3 9 versus a lefty. Ground ball pitcher B, so gets the out there. Got a runner on second. One out. Nothing on the havoc. 5 10 versus a lefty. Catcher's card. That's Hodges. He's a 3 E 3. 17 on a 3. It's a possible G3. 12 on a 3. No error. A G3 with a runner on second. Is slow, so get the ground out there. So we still got a runner on Daryl Cheney. Nothing on the havoc. One nine struck him out. All right, so we move on to the eleventh. Or Bone will stay in the game. Pitch another inning. Against Hodges, Harrelson, and the pitcher spot. Three six. Struck him out. Four seven versus a lefty. That's a double one eight. Two. That's a double for Harrelson. So on the top of the eleven, two outs. Excuse me, one out. Runner on second. We got to get a pinch hitter. We will bring in, see what the Mets have. We bring in Ted Martinez. Hopefully he can do something against Borbone. Runner on second, no outs. One out, excuse me, 20, nothing on the Havoc. 1-8, single two stars. There we go, Ted Martinez. He drives in Harrelson. Double by Harrelson, a single two-star by Martinez. We are now up to Wayne Garrett with one out. Mets need a pitcher, though, in the bottom of the, the 11th. See what Garrett can do. Nothing on the havoc. Two eight versus a righty. Line out to short. That is two outs. Felix Mian. Nothing there. One five. Look at that. Triple. One to four. Single five to twenty. Single two stars. Martinez goes to third. It's getting messy here. Mian hits a single. We have Cleon Jones, the batter. First and third, two outs, one potential wild pitch. It's only a one for Barbone, seven, nothing there. Let's see if Jones can get any more runs here. Two, seven, 
round out the first. Okay, so the, they leave first and third. They do get one run. It's a four to three game. Mets need a pitcher. McGraw went two. I think we're probably going to bring in maybe George Stone for the final. The Mets will bring in George Stone for the bottom of the 11. Or Bone can't keep it together for the Reds. But he's got a tough task here. He's got the pinch hitter. And then Rose and Morgan. So the pinch hitter for the Reds will be let's have uh, they will bring in Phil Gagliano. Or no, to bring in Andy Costco. Be the pinch hitter. Against George Stone. We are in the bottom of the 11th. Let's see what Costco can do. Score sheet's a mess. 5-5. Five, five, he's a righty. Struck him out. George Stone gets the first batter, Andy Costco. Now we move on to the meat of the Reds, Rose and Morgan. See if Stone can keep it together here. 110, ballpark, ooh, he's a lefty. So 1 to 10 on a lefty Stone, rounds out to third. Down to the final out. The Mets, coming into Riverfront. Costco strikes out, Rose grounds out the third. Five, eight versus a lefty on a lefty. That's a ground ball, second base X. Let's see if Neon can make this play. Two, ugh, two on a two. That's a single for Morgan. An 11 on a 10. Neon can't make the play. Morgan hits a single. Got a runner on first. Two outs for Dan Dreesing. Lefty on lefty. See the havoc roll here. Nothing for... Stone. Let's see if Dreesing can get this. Or Stone, for that matter. 3-6 versus a lefty. Ground out to second base. Ends the game. So the score sheet's a mess. The Mets do pull it out with a four to three game here. In game 19, the winning hit by Ted Martinez to drive in Bud Harrelson. The win goes to McGraw, save to Stone, lost to Barbone. Seaver's not involved in the decision, um, but pitches a solid game and a great, great game. And uh, thanks all for joining. We'll see you at uh, game 20.